So the uh, monitor just arrived, it's a BenQ Mobius EX3410R, um, 3440x1440p, uh, 144Hz, uh, let's get her unboxed. Right, I've just opened it up, uh, see what accessories it comes with. So, power cable, um, DisplayPort cable, HDMI cable, um, a USB 3 A to B cable and there's the main power adapter and there is a remote for it uh, some instructions and there's the back panel for where the ports are and there is the stand so put those to one side Uh, here's the main part of the stand. I'm having to do everything one handed because I'm recording this with my phone. That opens up. Uh, four screws. So it's uh, it's got a VESA mount on it if you want to do things that way. Which I plan to do in the future, but for now, it's just got this. That just clips on. So the wait two seconds. I'll I'll get this on and I'll get back to you. So that was pretty straightforward. It's just a just pops on, there's a single screw, screw that in tight and it's pretty solid. So let's go get it on the desk. So I've got it on the desk now, I'll just go through the specifications of the monitor. It's a 34 inch ultra wide monitor, it's 21 by 9, has a resolution of 3440 by 1440p and a refresh rate of 144 hertz. Um, if I'm correct, it can only do 100 uh, 120 hertz by the HDMI port though as it's only HDMI 2.0 so if you want 144 hertz you have to use the display port uh, which is 1.4 um, according to the list of specifications it has um, DCI P3 gamut coverage of 90% when I looked up some of the reviews which there aren't that many reviews for this monitor um, it gets a, it can get a bit lower than that, um, and uh, if you're interested in the price, I paid six hundred and seventy nine pounds and ninety seven pence for it. Um, I bought it from Amazon um, at next day delivery. There was no reviews on Amazon at all, so um, I don't think this monitor has been out for that long. But we'll get it set up uh, and see how it is. Right, so it's all hooked up, or at least it should be. Uh, it's connected to my laptop via HDMI. Uh, so no display port at the moment because the display port output on my laptop is type C. So I'm waiting for a delivery, which is a Dell dock that has a display port output. It's the only one I could find that's actually rated to apparently have enough bandwidth for this monitor because I can find plenty with an output that can apparently do 4K at 60 hertz, but 3440 uh, by 1440 at 144 hertz needs considerably more bandwidth. So this Dell dock, the display part output is really rated for 5K at 60 hertz, so this should do the trick. So let's see if we can power this on. How do you power it on? Oh, there we go, it's a clear button. And hold on. Well, there we go. Okay, that's looking pretty damn uniform. Uh, there's a bit of uh, 
backlight inconsistent you can see there uh, is that going to bother me right so we'll configure this properly I'm going to extend these displays uh, right we're going to use this as the main display apply there we go 34 40 by 14 40 advanced display option 60 hertz Right, okay, we're not limited to 120 hertz, we're limited to 100 apparently. I mean, I'll be alright for a few days. Right, so it seems there's just a bit of backlight inconsistency across the bottom. Uh, right. Let's just list what's HDR. Is, uh, use HDR. FreeSync Premium Pro HDR on, and there's a dedicated HDR button here. Uh, enable full functions. Confirm. It is confirmed. There we go. Standard game. So there's game and there's cinema. Definitely doing something. Hmm. Just leave that as it is for now. Why is it? It's right, this is main display. There we go. Right, so I'll do some testing and I will get back to you. Right, so I've had a bit of a time to fiddle around with it. Um, while it only being connected via HDMI for now, I've knocked it back down to 60 hertz, so I can enable 12 bit color. Um, at 100 hertz, I could only do 8 bit color, and that resulted in really bad uh, fringing and motion blur. Um, so far, it's uh, looking good, but I'll I'll still need to wait until I get the dock uh, so I can hook it up via Display Port to uh, fully test it out. But I mean, the screen real estate. This is my first ultra wide monitor. I built a PC for my dad a, a while ago, um, and it, I got him an ultra wide monitor. But it wasn't curved, and I think it was um, maybe 27 inches or a fair bit smaller than this. This thing is huge, and it's going to take a while to get used to the curve. The curve is significant. Was it a 1000 R curve? Um, the color's pretty good, um, the color's pop. Not quite as much as the laptop screen. This is around 90% DCI-P3. That, that laptop screen is 100% DCI-P3. Um, but it's it's bright. It's bright enough. Um, yeah. So far I'm liking it. But yeah, it does have a bit of an uneven backlight. But from my understanding, that's pretty normal. It's got a contrast ratio of 3,501. Which is why I chose this over an IPS panel. Because I don't just game. I'm going to watch movies and shows on this. Especially movies now because it's twenty one to nine, so uh, going to be utilizing most of that screen. But yeah, um, I'll probably make another video uh, when I get the uh, the Dell dock. I'll probably do a video on the dock as well, um, as from what I could tell, it's it's kind of a one of a kind dock. It's expensive on Dell's website. It's listed for like three hundred and sixty pound. I found an eBay seller selling one new. I don't care if it's new or not, as long as it works. It's about one hundred and eighty pounds. So uh, I've just ordered that, so it'll get here when it gets here. Uh, right. So I'll have to stitch all these clips together and uh, post the video. So I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.